Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to implement Wi-Fi Manager on ESP32. So let's get started. In general, Wi-Fi works in two modes. First mode is access point mode, where ESP32 provides its own Wi-Fi network so that other devices can connect to it. And the second mode is station mode, where ESP32 becomes a device that connects to an available access points. Sometimes we want the flexibility for the ESP32 to connect to different Wi-Fi access points without needing to change the code. So in that case, Wi-Fi manager comes in handy. Currently, I'm using Arduino IDE version 2.3.2, which is latest at the time of recording this video. If you are using different version, your view may be slightly different. Now let's install the required library. Go to the sketch, then include libraries and then manage libraries. The library manager view is different in older version. Search for the Wi-Fi manager. and select the Wi-Fi manager library by Zappo. I click on install button. In my case, library is already installed. That's why uh, you are able to see the remove button. Now close the window. Next, we will look at the example and try to understand it so we can use the same functionality in our application code. Let's open the basic example. In the code, you will see the library header file included at the top. In the code, you can refer the commented code and the comments provided for additional context. Uh, here you can set the Wi-Fi mode. The default mode is STA plus AP, that is station mode plus access point mode. Here we are initializing the serial interface and baud rate is 115200. Here we are creating the instance for Wi-Fi manager. Uh, this is the reset setting function which is commented. This function is used for resetting or to erasing the Wi-Fi credentials. We have three types of auto connect functions. This function will auto generate the access point name using chip IDE. This function generates the access point name with auto connect AP name, but without password. And this function generates the auto connect access point name with password as a password. You can change the password and access point anything you want. And this is the if condition which prints the serial prints based on the connection result. Next we will compile the code and upload the code on ESP32. Make sure that you have selected the proper board and COM port. Here in my case, I am using ESP32 development kit version 1 and I have selected the proper serial interface. Now let's upload the code on ESP32. Okay, now board is flashed and the ESP32 has found 10 Wi-Fi networks. I will use my Android mobile to connect to the ESP access point. Select the auto connect access point. After connecting, you should see this page. If not, then enter the IP address from the serial print. Once you get this web page, click on configure Wi-Fi. You will be able to see the available Wi-Fi networks here. Select the Wi-Fi network you want ESP32 to connect to. Enter the password and click on save. Now ESP32 has connected to the new access point and here is the IP address and connection status. So that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.